How's everybody doing today? Uh, I'm gonna do a how to make the bathroom that I built in the last house. Had a few people ask uh, to show how that's done, and it's kind of tricky. You can technically do the 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 thing that I built the last one on foundations or upstairs with one minor exception if you want to try to build this upstairs it's going to be super tricky to put the curtain in um and you would have to like take a foundation put stairs put a floor place the wall to do that but um it would be easier to build the base of the the space upstairs than it would be to um it, it is with foundations but um essentially what we're doing is manipulating the floors to bake the walls so so first thing you want to do is put in your exterior walls if you're going to double wall them you probably should know how to double wall by now but you take a wall make it a doorway spin it around as long as you have you know a foundation or two foundation or two floors you can do that so get your exterior walls all doubled up as you want to all your walls doubled all right get rid of the foundations we're not going to use what we're mainly doing is we are shifting floors to do the cross wall. So the first thing you're going to have to do is use stairs, then a half floor, and then stairs again. And then you can shift the foundation to do your half wall. Alrighty, and then that lets you put in your mid wall. If you're going to do a double wall on this one, that's not going to let me do it because that stairs are tight. Come on, stick. Alright. We're going to go ahead and double wall this. Okie doke. Now, to do the bathroom like I built in the other one, um,. Let's get rid of this because this is not where this is going. Um, you're going to have either a dead space or you're going to have a space behind it. If that makes sense. Um, because you're going to have one wall basically cross-sectioning another wall. And so what you're going to have to do is you need to offset back and then over to get a wall across this center section. So, to do that, we're going to take a... We're going to take a half floor here. Here to this floor. And this is the main part. Like you already have your walls coming across. Then what you're all you're doing now is you'll have to do this in concrete um, because the only way to do half walls right now, double stacked, is with concrete. And you'll need a flamethrower. Place your first wall. Burn it. And then you can place your second wall. And then where this gets tricky is since it won't let you just stack a wall there, you need to turn your doorway that you used to double stack into a solid wall. And then you need to burn it again.
And then once those walls are burnt, it'll let you, it'll let you, um, stack them through the, through the wall. And then you'll need to take a, a shelf. I usually, if I'm double doing a lot of double stuff, I use these shelves because in the, That goes in there nicely. Once that's broken, then you repair the lower wall. And then you can stack this up, repair it all. And you repair your walls. And then to move things again, you're gonna have to turn it back into a doorway on both of them. And then you need to burn the lower, the lower half walls again. The reason for that is it will not let you move the, um, move the foundations unless you do. Just think if Bethesda would give us half vertical walls, we wouldn't need any of this mess, but here we are. Alrighty, now with that moved, we have one other chore to do, and you're probably going to have to go ahead and take um, your one of these walls out, and maybe your front walls, which these will, the, the main walls are easy to replace because we are going to take uh, we're going to take a foundation and you're going to just stick it to this one here but we're going to remove this one make sure you leave one there and the reason this is we need to move this guy over just a smidge and that is so we can take and put a wall. Again, this is the, the tricky one where it's really hard to do upstairs, but um, downstairs, not too bad. You'll never get it perfectly flush. It just doesn't want to. And then you put on your door. I like the new curtains, put the curtain in, and then you take your wall, your doorway, Turn into a solid wall. Remove the wall. Now you have your curtain here. And then you can go back to putting everything back together. And we need to double wall it. And sometimes it's a little, it'll fight with you a little bit. You may have to burn or take the door out and do that again. It's a wee bit tricky. It, it's definitely finicky. What we can do is... Uh, let me change it because it's going to fight with me. i take this door back out. Put that back in and then we're going to have to... I have to move the foundation and do the wall. I think I just had it too close, is why it was fighting with me. As with all these little weird workarounds, they're all finicky, so 
if it doesn't initially work probably not your fault <laughs> it's just if they just give us half vertical walls you know all right yeah i just had it out of place double up again if you're gonna build this um into an exist uh, into a house hopefully know how you build it to start with Alrighty, and then we get to change everything back over to solid walls. Again, um, you're probably going to want either this to extend into another room and just be part of the feature of the room, or um, box it up and hide it. Uh, in the other um, build, I just, you know, box it up. And then in the finished product, you can take and start. Actually, I end up making these walls. You can make them whatever you want afterwards. I think the the warehouse one is probably my preferred one because it has the best end cap. Like. The regular wood one's alright, but I like the warehouse one for if I'm going to have to look at the edge. You could get away with not doubling them if you did, like, the log cabin one, if you wanted. In the end, it's your build. You can do whatever you want. Um, and then you can go ahead and wallpaper this up however you, you see fit. Uh, I'd say for the back wall... Um either brick or like the tile because it is the bathroom or well, you know do mind that if you are going to do this that your uh other wall the six through is going to be also the the tile so keep that in mind when you're doing it because it's just going to protrude through And then for ceiling, um, if you have the glass one, it's going to be the easiest. Uh, the other one that would be um, easy is the, the log cabin roof because you can convert it from a flat to an angle. And then you can stick a ceiling into it. And then you have a bathroom with the curtain. If you want to add a little bit more to this, uh, like I did in the previous one, you pull your flamethrower out, burn your back wall completely through, and then take your uh, conduit. You want just a little arch one. And then just right on the edge of the thing. And then I take the the power radiator. And then now you have a shower head. Coming through. I haven't figured out what I'm what I want to do for a drain, but I think it works. And then you can finish dressing up your bathroom. Uh, you can put the toilet here if you wanted to. And then you can decorate it however you want. Or you can put it wherever, but now you have a like a more natural like shower bathroom and uh i like it it's fun i'm gonna use this in more builds um i'll put a link in either the eye or the description of the link to the house that has this bathroom currently i have not finished decorating this house yet done some neat stuff with it i'm still debating on how i want to set it up but that was a fun bit of mess to make work so Hopefully like that, I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good one.